I finished up the elephant with the gray and I'm going to do his eyes and his tusk and I wanted to show you you can uh, go to Walmart and get a package of paint brushes and they'll have ones like this this they're real fine tips I like to use them where I could cut in my eyes I'm going to use some uh, cut it in with some white first whoops just right in both corners right there don't worry if you get some on out through here or up through there a little bit you can touch back up with the gray it's not going to hurt it yeah so you just want to catch both corners just a little bit And on these brushes here, you see where I left them? That's water I got them in. It's not going to hurt them right now, but on my small ones like this, I go ahead and wash them out. So I have a little extra water around. And I just dry off a little bit. And while that's drying, we're going to go ahead and paint the tusk. Lay him on his back first. What I got here is some antique white. Well, let's make sure you shake your paint up good because sometimes those little paints aren't mixed like people think they are. Let's see. Hmm. We'll use this one. His big ears keep touching everything. Nope, I don't like the way that one's doing. Hold on. He's, whoops, it's falling apart. Huh. That's not a good paintbrush. Alright, there we go. My elephants. A little bigger than my spot right here. He's got a few air holes in his tusk. And when I'm painting on him, I don't go all the way to this to the skin part on him. I just cut right close to it. That's why when I put the gray on a while ago. I uh, put more gray into the creases that way you don't have to worry about going all the way to the his wrinkle area like right up here you'll see you want to go all the way to the wrinkle stay back away from it some
All right, well, that's drying. After that dries, we'll put another coat on it. And uh, while that's drying right now, we'll go ahead and um, finish the eyes up. So I'm going to put some black. Let's check that up a bit more. Right in here. Can you see that? Looks better, don't it? All right, I purposely got a little bit of white on here, onto the side. I see when you look at it, you can actually see it. You see, right there. And so when you, by the time you finish this out, clear coat it, that one little spot right there, that white, is on the eye area, on the lid here. It actually sticks out like a sore thumb. So we're gonna take just a little bit of gray. And we're gonna go right back through, and just go right there with that. There you go. See how it touches it up, and it's not going to hurt a single thing in there, right? Like, and I'm going to do one more coat on the tusk, and that will take care of the eyes and the tusk now.